Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. According to, to the Bible, right, right. giving you time to repent. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you truly understand what I'm saying? So, what are some things you ought to be doing today with us? Right. Did you eat breakfast this morning? Yeah. Do you did you uh do you normally eat breakfast on Saturday? All right. Uh, do people normally cook on today? No. All right. So give me that Leviticus chapter 23. You and the Spirit. Give me that. Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 1. Read. Read it out. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, uh -huh. Speak unto the children of Israel. So the Bible says, Speak unto the children of Israel. The children of Israel are the, 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 na the nation that was in the wilderness with Moses, all right? right? If you look on this sign, everybody on this sign, plus more, are the children of Israel. Read. And say unto them, uh -huh. Concerning the feast of the Lord. Right, concerning the feast of the Lord. Read. Right. Which ye right. shall proclaim to be holy convocation. These days are to be holy, meaning to be separate and right. on these days you ought to have holy convocations mean a separate gathering than everybody else right. you understand what i'm saying meaning go ahead read that even these are my feasts uh -huh. verse three uh -huh. six days shall work be done so the bible says six days shall work be done read but the seventh day uh -huh. is the sabbath of rest but the seventh day what's the seventh day according to the bible bring it out the seventh day all right, let's count the days of the week down. You got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So what's the seventh day? Saturday is right. the seventh That's day. Right. And when does that day start? It, no, no, no. Give me Genesis 1 and 5 real quick. I'm going to show you exactly when the day start according to the Bible, all right? Because this, this, the whole time thing is confusion. The white man changed that. But God said this right here, read. Genesis 1 verse 5, read. read and God called the light day. So God called the light day, read. And the darkness he called night, read. And the evening uh -huh. and the morning uh -huh. were the first day. So the evening and the morning was the first day. The evening and the morning was the first day. Right. So when does the day truly start? All right, give me that Leviticus chapter 23, verse 32. I'm finna show you something real quick. It says the evening. When, okay, when is the evening? The evening is uh is is when the sun go down. That's when uh the, the, the day start, all right? But I'm finna give you further proof. Read that. Leviticus 23, verse 32. Read it out. It shall be unto you uh -huh. a Sabbath of rest. It says it shall be unto you a Sabbath of rest, meaning you're not supposed to work. Right. You're supposed to come together with your brothers. Right. Get in the light. Get in the true knowledge of God. Read. And ye shall afflict your souls Read. in the ninth day of the month at even. Read. From even to even. From what? Even to even. So it says from evening until evening. Read. Read. Shall ye celebrate your Sabbath. So last night when the sun, when the sun went down at Friday night and sundown, until tonight at sundown, that's the Sabbath of the Lord. Yes, yeah, that's right. So from that time, there ought to be no cooking. You're not supposed to buy and sell. You're not supposed to be just out and about doing any and everything. You're not supposed to work. You understand that? 
During that time, you're supposed to come together with your brothers. Right. That's why we hit in the streets. That's why we go to various hoods of America. Right. Because we know when the Sabbath day is here, God ain't gonna play with us if we break that law. Right. We gotta come together and keep God's Sabbath day. Read. Right. Nehemiah 13 verse 19. I'm gonna show you something. Hey, pay attention, pay, pay attention good, all right, read. And it came to pass uh -huh. that when the gates of Jerusalem began to be dark uh -huh. before the Sabbath. It says when it began to be dark before the Sabbath, read. Uh -huh. I commanded that the gates should be shut uh -huh. and charged that they should not open until after the Sabbath. Right, so that night, that Friday night, they shut the gates of the uh, of the of the uh, of the congregation because guess what? They knew we ain't supposed to be dealing with nobody else. Right. We ain't supposed to be buying and selling from these other nations. Right. You understand that? All right. Um, yeah. Give me that. Give me that. Leviticus chapter twenty-three verse three. Get so, out. Get this. Six days shall work be done. So the Bible says six days shall work be done. Read. But the seventh day uh -huh. is the Sabbath of rest Read. and holy convocation. A holy convocation means a large gathering. Right. Read right. that. Ye shall do no work therein. So we're not supposed to do any work. You understand that? Read. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. So no matter, it says it's the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. So no matter where you are in this world, you can be in China, you can be in Jamaica, right. you can be in the Caucasus Mountains of Russia. Teacher. The Bible says no matter where you are in the world, you got to keep this law and keep God's Sabbath day. Yes, right. right. Hey, and this is a serious thing. The Sabbath day is a serious thing. It's the Sabbath of rest. Just imagine if every black Hispanic in the Native American kept the Sabbath day. Don't you know the economy would crash? Don't you know they would have to bow down to us? Because guess what? What are we? What do they label us today? Consumers, right? We are the ones that, that give the power to the mighty dollar bill. So guess what? If we shut that mighty dollar bill down on the Sabbath day, no matter where we are in the world, they would have to bow down to us. And that's just one law that would change the world. Imagine if we kept all these laws. Don't steal or kill from your brother. Right. Marry your woman and your could be if you lay before you lay down with a woman, you marry her. Right. And you take care of that woman and your children. Imagine out. if we all did that, the world would be take different. Right. But that's the vision that we have up here. This is the this is the reason why we out here to change the minds of our people. Right. You understand that? Read that. Nehemiah 10 31. And if the people of the land bring where or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on any holy day. So what is that scripture saying right there? That's right, that's right. So you know that now, you know that. So if you do exactly that, what are you doing? What are you committing if you go against God's laws? You're committing sin, right? Give me Romans 6 and 23. Because this is a very serious thing. Right. I don't want you to go. I don't want you to leave here. And, and you know this knowledge. And you do otherwise. Even though God loves you. And he give you mercy. He give you grace. He will still put you to death. Right. Read that. Romans chapter 6 verse 23. Read it out. For the wages of sin is death. So the Bible says that the wages of sin is what? Is death. Is what? So what would God do to you? He'll kill you. Hey, I don't, listen, in the Christian church, people be like, oh, God is good. Oh, white man Jesus do this with butterflies and lambs walking around. Right. But we serve a killer. Right. This is what we don't understand. Right. Our God is a killer. That's and right. he will put you to death, brother. Right. That's right. what we're trying to explain to our people. The reason why we are out here today is because our God is a killer. Right. The coronavirus, look what he's doing to our people. The swine flu is again, get back here on the earth. Right. How does that come back? H1N1 is back. And it started right there in China, just like the coronavirus. Right, right. right now to this day. Right. Read that. Deuteronomy 32, 39. Read it See now that I, even I am he, uh -huh. and there is no God with me. So the Bible says there was no God with me. That's Read. Right. I kill. I what? I kill. God kill. Read. Right. And I make alive. So God kill it, then he make it alive. That's now right. that's twofold. Because guess what? Our people are spiritually dead too. That's right. right. You see what I'm saying? So how must we come back to life? Bring it out. I we the congregation of our people in the congregation of the dead. Right. How do we come back to life, brother? First, give me Baruch. First, give me Baruch four and one. Read. 
He didn't give me what you was going to give me, all right? Because guess what? Our people are dead spiritually. That's right. And if we remain dead spiritually, meaning mentally, the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. We gonna be put to death physically. Read that. Baruch chapter four and verse one. Read it out. This is the book of the commandments of God uh -huh. and the law that endures forever. So this is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endures forever. Right. Meaning the laws were never done away with. Right. We still supposed to be not killing our brothers. Right. We still supposed to marry our women before we lay down with them. Right. We still supposed to be loving our brother as we love ourselves. Yes, right. We still supposed to be congregating on the Sabbath day. Right. The laws are here forever, brother. Right. Forever. Read. All day that keep it. Shout. Re well, hold on. Read that part again. All day that keep it, meaning everybody that keep the commandments of God, read, shall come to life. That's physically and spiritually. That's right. Read. But such as leave it shall die. If you leave the laws which we have here before, you will die. That's right. You will die, brother. Hold, hold that. Hold that, what you got right there. And give me Daniel chapter 12 and verse 2. Because as I said before, this is twofold. You don't want to be the people. You don't, because during judgment day, you don't want to be rose up out of your grave and put to death again. Right. That's what you don't want. You don't want to be burning forever, brother. That's why we trying to put the fear of God in you. Because I know your potential. I know you smart. I know you understand this Bible and you could be doing exactly what we're doing today. Right. Read that. Daniel chapter 12, verse 2. Read it out. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth. So the Bible says many of them are going to be sleeping in the dust of the earth. Because guess what? A lot of our people are dead and have died in this truth. That's the reason why I brought this scripture out. I know somebody could be thinking, well, what? Everybody going to die? But some of our brothers have died in this truth. And that's exactly why I brought this scripture out. Read. Shall awake. Some to everlasting life. The people that die in this truth gonna be woken up to everlasting life. That's we, right. And some to shame and everlasting contempt. The Bible says people gonna be woke up and put to death with flames again with everlasting shame and contempt. Do you understand that? That's a scary day. That's gonna be a scary day of the Lord. Right. You don't want to be a part of that. Now give me what you was gonna give me. Teach I read that. Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 16. Read out. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding. So if you wander out of the way of the understanding, if you ignore the knowledge of the Bible, if you ignore the truth, if you ignore the fact that your leaders have things set up above you, read. Right. Shall remain in the congregation of the dead. You're going to remain in the congregation of the dead. Right. You understand that? You're going to remain just that, and God will come back and, and purge you out. You understand that? We living in a scary time, brother. This time is not to be playing with God. We living in the end days. We got to get our stuff together and purge out the leaven that is within us. If we got any problems with our brothers, any problems with our sisters, we got to come together. And we got to, hey, everything the Bible says to do, we got to do it. You understand that? But not the law of sacrifice. We got to keep everything other than the laws of sacrifice, all right? All right, read that. Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 5. Read it out. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. So, but before God formed you in the belly, he already knew you. Right. Read. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. Uh -huh. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Right. So, God already ordained you a prophet, brother. You listening? You already got your beard. Right. All you got to do is That's put on right. your fringes. Walk like a man, keep these commandments, and get around us. That's how you're going to be built up in this world. That's Let me show you something real quick. Read that. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Bring it out. Marriage is honorable in all. So God said marriage is honorable in all. Right. Not boyfriend and girlfriend. Right. A husband and a wife is honorable in the eyesight of God. That's right. Read that. And the bed undefiled. And the bed undefiled, meaning what, if you have a wife, what you do in the bedroom is what y'all do. That ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. Y'all can do whatever y'all want in the bedroom, long as you're married. Right. Long as it's marital sex. Read. But, whoremongers. It says, but. But, because this is a big plague in our community. But, read. But, whoremongers uh -huh. and adulterers. Uh -huh. God will judge. You're going to have to be sent to the physician. God said whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Right. How exactly would he judge them? AIDS, chlamydia, right. gonorrhea, right. HPV, right. different types of cancers, 
different types of yeast. That's right. God said, hey, whole monk is in adulterous. God will judge. Right. So guess what? Right. We don't want to be doing things that God said not to do because we're going to be judged that way. Right. You understand that? That's why the black man getting all the types of diseases. That's why the black woman is getting all kinds of diseases. Right. And sometimes a woman can get pregnant like that, right? Laying down with a woman that ain't hers. Laying down with a uh, man that's not uh, her husband. Guess what? You could get a baby in her stomach that a man won't even take care of. Right. And guess what? Sometimes that baby can come out with a disease too. Right. So guess what? It ain't just you that you hate. You hating your own people. That's right. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 61. Read it out. Also, every sickness and every plague. It says every sickness and every plague. Read. Which is not written in the book of this law, uh -huh. them will the Lord bring upon thee uh -huh. until thou be destroyed. So guess what? COVID-19, the coronavirus, is not written in this book. Right. Cancer is not written in this book. Right. HPV is not written in this book. Right. But guess what? God's still destroying our people with it. He's still putting us to death with it. Why? Because we sin. We are a sinner. We are a nation sin. But to stop all these plagues, to keep put to put God back on our side, all we have to do is what? Come out of sin and keep the commandments. Right. Because guess what? You love God, right? Well, you say you love God, right? How do we love God? Teach out. Huh? Yeah, to fear him is to love God. But how else do we love God? When you fear God, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to put away what? Sin, which means to do what? To keep his commandments. Because guess what? You can't just run up to God and give him a hug right now. You can't cut him some roses or a lily right now. You can't just go buy him chocolates. So how do the black, Hispanic, and Native American love God? I'm finna show you. Read. John chapter 14, verse 15. Read out. If ye love me, keep my commandments. The Bible says if you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. That's all God is saying to us. But God, don't, don't get it twisted. God loves us and he wants us to come back to his commandments. He wants us to come back to him. He wants us to come back to him as little children. But guess what? But guess what? God, God is still gonna plague us if we if we disobey his laws. Right. He's still gonna kill us off. Just like, guess what? If your son, if you had a son, you asked him to do certain things, and he repeatedly, just repeatedly, just don't do it, what you gonna do to your son? You gonna punish him, right? You gonna punish him, right? You gonna get put that belt on him, right? That's the same thing God is doing with us. Right. That's how God is dealing with us. But if your son actually did what you said, made all A's in school, did his chores at home, you're gonna be very proud of your son. And guess what? Before you leave this world, you're gonna have a reward. Before uh, before it's all said and done, you're gonna have a reward for your son, right? right? God got a reward for us if we keep his commandments, right. which will be the kingdom of heaven. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.